This is a quick review of a KitchenAid dishwasher. The model number is KDFE104HPS. This is a stainless steel outside as well as inside. And you can see there is no there are no door handles. And it's uh, also the control panel is on the front. We didn't want the control panel hidden on the top of the door. So we had selected this one. Also that we like the KitchenAid brand. We had a KitchenAid before which lasted us more than 12 years. And this is a nice looking dishwasher. So in terms of the uh, control panel, it is a touch panel, so you can Click on the Pro Wash. They have a Pro Wash Tough, which is probably their most uh, most uh, the largest cycle that they can run or it can run normal. Mostly, we will probably be using this one. I'm not a big fan of the touch screen, but it works. It's brand new right now, so I had installed it today. There's an express wash and a rinse only. Also, you can set the time delay. So you can do time delay using two hours, four hours, or eight hours, and then press it again and it will cancel. There's a control lock. You can lock the control panel if you hold it for three seconds and you can see that the lock is on i guess none of them will work and it blinks showing you that the control lock is on so you can press it for three more seconds and it goes off and then there is the high temperature wash heat dry with extended uh, time and the sanitization of rinse and also there are the start and cancel resume is the same as the start and cancel is also going to drain it so that's uh, the control panel there is also you can turn off the sound looks like here and inside it has a flip up rather than flip out so in case you have a dish which blocks the uh, opening uh, this will not prevent the soap from being dispensed correctly also it came with the energy guide sticker it came with a drain hose it came with some cascade detergent, dishwashing detergent, and it has the manual as well as the warranty card. Here is the model number KDFE104HPS, and then there is a zero in there. So this one also has a heating element. So the new ones um, don't have, some of the other brands we saw don't have a heating element, but this one does. And uh, also it has a four, like the sprayer nozzle there, one underneath it and also one above in there so one smaller one above there one underneath the uh, the top drawer and also this drawer you can lift it up and down these are the same these kitchen aids are made by whirlpool so it's the same drawer as whirlpool just that it has a different coating looks like 
and the heating element you can see and also there is the heating element right there and also it has a strainer cup which uh, will collect all the food particles you can you can clean it off which our old uh, kitchen aid didn't have this thing and also it has the utensil dra uh, drawer here utensil compartment which you can put each utensils one at a time or you can lift it up and you can remove it we didn't have this utensil cover and this can come off so if you don't like it you can take this cover off also uh, to mention that this is a 46 dba pretty quiet dishwasher which uh, is not the most quiet but it is in the middle of the range 46 dba uh, sound uh, um, dishwasher so uh, it's it's very quiet compared to what we had before though we thought the previous one was quiet as well but some of the dishwashers the lower end uh, uh, will be more than 50 and uh, decibels and this one is uh, 46 here it's running on the normal cycle it's very quiet here So we like the uh, quietness of the dishwasher and also the looks and uh, hope uh, this performs as well as our previous KitchenAid did.